Um, good day, everyone. I'm going to discuss lesson two in arts. But before that, um, review muna tayo dun sa lesson one and three because later we're going to have um, a quiz. So for SLEM 1, here are the questions that you might uh, encounter later for your piece. So let's answer number one. The province of Mountain Province is the home for okay, Ibaloys. Okay, number two, it is an unglazed earthen jar with small opening and used for storage of water and rice grains and as container for salt and brown sugar. Correct answer is or nine. Okay, number three. This fabric is used by the Bontoks in making their blankets and clothing. Okay, so letter B, C, C1. Okay, number four. It is a bowl-shaped basket made from rattan with sizes that vary from 20 to 150 centimeters in diameter. Okay, the correct answer is laba. Okay, number five. The arts and crafts of Pangasinan, including the smoothly weaved bolinao mats, is made from buri or blank leaves. Okay, rafia. Number six. It is the hand weaven technique used by the Ilocanos to produce traditional wooden looms. Okay, D, Inabel. Okay, number seven. It is a famous basket of the Mount Province used for catching fish. Okay, the correct answer is Bobo. Number eight. She is the oldest and famous Mamba Batok of Kalinga region. Okay, letter D, Apo Wang Od. Number nine. It usually covers the chest and the arms and is considered as clothing and decorations of the mountain province. Okay, correct answer is A, tattoo. Next, it is an Indonesian term of the Ifugaos, loin cloth, that means to bind together. Okay, the correct answer is letter B, ika. Okay, for slam three, it is famous for its uh, wood carving and, and is considered as the wood carving capital of the Philippines. Okay, so it is letter A, Paeta Laguna. Number two, in Quezon, what is used by the townspeople to decorate their houses? Okay, letter C, Kiping. Number three, this is a type of knife that can be folded close like a fan. Okay, letter A, Balisong. Number four, this place is famous for producing embroidered piña fabric. Okay, the correct answer is Taal Batangas. Number five, what is the Filipino term for broken? Okay, A, Bali. Number six, what is the local term for carving? Letter D, Ukit. Number seven, it is a town in Rizal province considered as the art capital of the Philippines. Okay, the correct answer is Angono. A, according to stories, what are the original gigantes? Okay, letter A, Ascenderos. Number nine, 
This region is famous for its baths made from abaca fiber and other local materials. Okay, letter A, Beacon. Number 10, it is also known as butterfly knife. The correct answer is balisong. Okay. So, stop sharing na muna tayo. Stop presenting. And let's proceed to our lesson for today. Okay, so lesson 2, Arts and Crafts of Cagayan Valley and Central Luzon. Okay, so nitong mga nakarang araw, naging um, matunog yung lugar na Cagayan Valley because um, naging um, sentro sila nung natamaan ng bagyo. Okay, kaya sila masyadong apektado dahil meron sa kanilang ilog na tinatawag na Cagayan River. Okay, and... Uh, this is considered as the longest river in the Philippines. While the Central Luzon, syempre located siya sa Central ng Luzon. Okay? So, what are the expectations for today? So, kailangan ma-incorporate nyo yung arts and crafts or artifacts na pag-aaralan natin. Kailangan manaman nyo yung art elements and principles. And then, Pangalawa is trace the external and internal influences. Kung meron bang influensya yung uh, ibang bansa or sariling atin ba talaga yung mga makikita natin arts and crafts ngayon. Okay? Okay. So the first place is the Batanes. Okay? So ang Batanes ay nasa may bandang kitaas ng Luzon. Okay? So, medyo ano na siya, parang independent na lugar kasi um, maliit lang siya na island. Okay? So, ang mga nakatira sa Batanes ay tinatawag na Ibatans. Okay? <clears throat> and then, ano ba yung mga ipag, uh, maaaring ipagmalaki ng Batanes? Okay? First is the architecture. Okay? So, makikita niyo yung bahay sa kanila. Yeah, it is called the uh, Ibatan Houses that is primarily um, a meter thick limestone, coral walls, and kogon grass roofs. Okay? So, saan sila gawa or saan gawa ang kanilang bahay? Okay, so, so as you can see in the picture, this is a solid type of house. Okay? But the roofing is made from kogon grass, which is... Uh, plenty sa kanilang lugar or marami but this is very very strong okay maganda siyang gamitin bilang bubong kasi matibay siya okay and yung ceiling nila ay eh, sumabot lang siya ng 1.6 to 2 meters high okay ganun siya ka liit lang sa loob okay and smaller door and window openings to keep the interiors warm okay so, if yung ginagamit nila or bahay nila mismo. Yan. Ganyan kakapal yung wall na nakikita ninyo. So, approximately mga isang metro po ang uh, lapad niyan. So, bakit ba kailangan nilang tibayan ng kanilang mga bahay? Okay? Kasi madalas silang dalawi ng bagyo. Okay? Di ba kapag napapansin nyo, kapag may dumadating na bagyo, laging ume-exit kung hindi sa gilid ng Pilipinas, um, pumapataas siya. So, madalas, natatamaan sila ng bagyo. That's why kailangan nilang tibayan ang kanilang mga bahay. Okay? And aside from architecture, meron din silang na, uh, pangamalaki na headgear na tinatawag na bakul. Okay? So, ang mga ibatan women naman ang nagsusuot nito. Okay? In, um, they use it to protect them from the heat of the sun and the rains. Yan, si ate, yan ang ating model ngayon. So, para siyang nakawig. But ang purpose niyan is to protect herself. Okay, so kung may pang babae, meron din naman pang lalaki. But this one is a rain cape. Okay, ang tawag 
dito ay suot. Okay? It is made from fronds that covers the upper part of the body down from the neck burned by the Eva Tan men. Okay, so makikita mo dyan, yung mga lalaki is nakakapa sila. While the girls, uh, nilalagay naman sa kanilang head. So, saan gawa ito? Okay, so meron silang tinatawag na Vuya Vuy Pang. Okay, ito ay similar sa coconut. So, dyan siya gawa. Next is Isabela. Uh, ang Isabela, it is one of the largest provinces in the Philippines located in the Cagayan Valley region. So, magkakatabi lang sila. Or magkatabi ang Cagayan and Isabela. And ang ipag maipagmamalaki ng Isabela is its architecture. Okay? So, as you can see there, uh, merong church na tinatawag na Tumawini. Okay? This is a Catholic parish church or Roman Catholic parish church. Uh, of San Matias Apostol. Okay. Ang style niya is Baroque. Okay. Isa siyang church na inspired by uh, Spanish style pa rin. Okay. And it was built in 1873 na makikita sa municipality ng Tumawa, Tumawini, Isabela. Okay. So, kung napapansin nyo, yung church na yan, it is made from red bricks. Okay. Usually kasi, ang mga churches ay gawa sa mga adobe, Okay, sa mga sa mga stones na nakukuha sa uh, sa bundok. Okay, so pinagsama-sama 'yon. But this one is made from red bricks. Okay? And yung mga design na makikita diyan is carvings of flowers, leaves, scallops, scallops, saints, religious symbols and other fanciful motifs. Okay? While sa gilid ng church ay may makikita kayo na cylindrical bell free. Okay, yung, so yung church na yan, di ba, red, yung pinaka, pinaka sentro niya, okay. Yung sa gilid is para siyang wedding cake, yung itsura niya, okay. And ang motif nito ay mga laces, hearts, and beads. Okay, pag sinabing belt free, yes, yan yung lalagyan na ng uh, belt sa taas, okay. Next is Nueva Vizcaya, Okay. So, it is located near Ifugao, Benguet, and Quirino. Okay? The Gadangs of Nueva Vizcaya are known for their crafts and textiles. Okay? So, meron ditong textile na ipinagmamalaki ang Nueva Vizcaya. Okay? That's why they are unique. They have what we call a belt na ginagamit ng mga gadang mothers after giving birth. Okay? So, yung central portion daw nito ay may white beads. Okay? And may patterns din na makikita na ang nire-represent dyan sa nakikita natin is the rivers and mountains. Okay? Doon tayo sa belt tumingin, ha? Next is uh, Central Luzon. Okay? Sinabi Central Luzon, Gitnang Luzon. So, anong mga lugar na makikita dyan? We have Nueva Ecija, Tarlac, Zambales, Mampanga, Bulacan, Bataan. Okay? So, ano ba ang may pagmamalaki ng bulakan pagdating sa arts and crafts? Okay? So, for sure, nakikita nyo naman na ito ay isang pastillas. Okay? But this is not a typical pastillas because nagiging unique ito dahil sa kanilang wrapper na tinatawag. Okay? Yung wrapper nila is napaka eye catchy because they use different silang pattern or design na nilalagay na talaga namang eye-catchy. Okay? So, yan pa yung other example. Okay? So, yung mga designs na nakikita ninyo ay meron siyang different linear, curvilinear, and geometric that depict local florals, floras, and scenes of everyday rural life. Okay? So, kung ano yung mga nakikita nila sa paligid, and yung mga madalas nilang nakikita sa paligid sa ar pang araw-araw, is yun yung, yan yung nilalagay nila. Okay? So, meron dyan, parang may nakikita ko dyan na puno, flowers, bahay, at marami pang iba. Okay? Um, examples of pastillas wrapper is like that. Okay? So, nakikita nyo naman, napakalit ng pastillas, pero yung design niya talagang um, nangingibabaw. Okay? 
Another from Bulacan is the bamboo craft. So, gawa ito syempre sa bamboo kasi marami sa kanilang lugar yung bamboo. And they are known for making bamboo arches na ang tawag sa disenyo na nandiyan is the kayas or wood shaving. So, sinishave yung wood. Yan. Yan ang singkaban. Okay? So, yung mga arches na yan is madalas natin siya nakikita sa mga entrance ng barangay. Okay? Or during celebrations or fiesta. Next is goldsmithing. Okay? Paggawa ng alahas. Okay? So, sa kanila naman po is magawa sila ng alahas. Okay? Or palamuti sa pangangatawan. Uh, pero hindi siya gumagamit ng makina. Okay? Instead, they use their bare hands in making their uh, alahas. Okay? Next is the Pampanga. Ang Pampanga naman is sila naman ang um, pinakasikat sa paggawa ng giant parol okay? or giant lanterns. Okay? So, hindi yan yung nakikita natin madalas na parol lang na isasabit at wala na, parang boring. Pero sa kanila, gumagamit sila ng dancing lights na may iba't ibang colors, mayroong iba't ibang patterns, meron silang team, okay? may tema sila when they are making parols. Okay? Um, hindi na sa Pampanga ito makikita, but all over the uh, Philippines, makikita yung mga disenyo na parol. Lalo na during Christmas seasons. Okay, yan yung example nun. Okay? So talagang ano yan, pinagkakagaso sa nila para sila'y manalo. Um, every December, meron silang contest na sinasalihan, pabunggahan ng parol. Okay, next. Architecture. So sa Zambales, meron naman silang ipinagmamalaki na Spanish na Spanish gate na matatagpuan sa Olonga po Zambales. Okay? So bakit siya kakaiba? It was built in 1885. Okay? Etong gate na to is ginamit siya para siguro look out sa mga mananakop ng mga unang panahon. Okay? And nakatapat daw siya sa waterfront. Okay? Next Gapan City, Nueva Ecija. Okay, meron naman silang church na tinatawag na The Parish of the Three Kings. Ito po ay simbahang katoliko na ginawa noong 1800s. So napakatagal na na panahon. Meron itong malawak or malaking uh, doorways or side doorways. And uh, makikita mo daw doon sa magkabi ng gilid yung dalawang patron saints. Okay. And kapag pumasok ka daw sa loob is nakikita mo yung uh, uh, painting sa ceiling noon na inspired by Holy Trinity na makikita natin sa mga Western architecture. Yung may mga angel sa taas, okay, na ceiling. So, ganun siya. Next. The San Andres Apostol Paris Church. Okay, matatagpuan siya sa Masinlok Zambales pa rin. Okay. So, this is known for the use of coral stones instead of adobe. Okay? So, kung coral stones yan, kinuha pa nila yan sa ilalim ng dagat para lang makabuko ng isang uh, simbahan. Okay? <clears throat> Next is the Abukay Bataan. Okay? So, meron silang Abukay Church of St. Dominic de Paris, uh, de Guzman Paris Church. It was built in 1587 at ito'y pinamahalaan, pinamahalaanan ng mga Dominicans noong 1588. Okay? So it was inspired by Renaissance architecture. Okay? And as you can see there, uh, meron siyang lalagyan ng bell or bell free again. Na, na meron siyang limang towers or limang layers. And yung kanyang bintana or window is pa-arco. Okay? So, that's all. Okay? So, review natin yung true or false na to, ha? Okay? The Ibatans are the people living in Batanes group of islands. Okay, true. The pool is a headgear used by the Ibatan women. 
to protect them from the heat of the sun and rain. Okay, true. Three, may kawayan bulakan is known for its giant lanterns. Okay, false. Four, bakwat is a belt used by mothers after giving birth in Nueva Vizcaya. Okay, true. Five, Cagayan River is the shortest river in the Philippines. Okay, false. Number six, Singkaban or Singkaban is used as decorative arches that adorn the entrance of barangay or town fiesta during fiestas and other grand celebrations. Okay, true. Seven, the arts and crafts of Zambales, Tarlac, Nueva Vizcaya, and Bataan can be found in their historic sites. Okay, true. A. Some designs of antique jewelry are completely done by machines. Okay, false. Nine, the pearls are used to adorn houses, buildings, and streets all over the Philippines during Christmas season. Okay, true. And number ten, last number, Tumawini Church is located near Ifugao. Okay, the correct answer is false. Okay, so now, uh, ang mangyayari na is I'm going to post your activity in our Google Classroom. And this is 1 to, 1 to 30 para na please paghandaan niyo po yung lesson 1, 2, 3 in ours. Pakireview bago po sagutan. Okay. Thank you and good day.